these are the people who I want to appeal to. Make those little slips. It happens. You have to have a plan. To manage your problems effectively. How are you going to do it? Fall off the horse? Just jump right back on. And welcome back, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. It is a fun Friday and we're with a fun lady oh, to discuss a very, a fun very fun subject. subject. <laughs> oh, we should make it fun. We but will we, make it fun. You know, during the commercial break, I asked Jenny the question because it was in the morning tea, what song best describes her and uh, She said, yes. let her sing it. Because I'm happy. <laughs> you like way I think that's a well <laughs> I love it, Jenny. We love having you here. And uh, good morning once again. The languages of apology, there are five of them. Last, uh, well, the week before, we did the first one, and that one was the. Expressing regret. Expressing regret. For I'm today. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. That's the, that's the first one we did. Yeah. But for today, we'll be discussing accepting responsibility. Mm, yes. So, mm. you know, Jenny, this is definitely one to reckon with. This is one that uh, folks don't like to do. I am not sure if it's because we feel lesser or uh, we just don't want to do it. What are your thoughts and uh, lead us into it? We well, see in relationships, and I'm not just talking about love relationships. Human relationship to human. With our, yeah, human to human. In the workplace, with your children, yeah. with whomever. We have a hard time because our ego becomes engaged. Yeah. And once that ego becomes engaged, then I'm losing part of myself if I have to submit to you and say sorry mm -hmm. right yeah, so right um and and then it, it creates such bad bad feelings and bad everything between especially couples or, or children and parents if, if and parents don't feel like they should say sorry to their children children should say sorry to me but a child yes. yeah well what are you teaching your children yeah you know um, I wanted to start this one out with this little letter, but you have a question. I do. I just want to ask because, you know, I, I, love, I love sometimes when we get emails and responses, and I know you get your share as well. Apologizing is not a topic we talk about very often. No, what's what's been the feedback so far? None. <laughs> Everybody wants to ignore this one? I think so. Yeah. I think so. But we're going we're gonna to proceed. We're yeah. going to go through. Yeah. Because it's such an important topic. Yeah. It really is. And we never learned it. No. Uh, one of the things I, this one today. Oops. Okay. The one today is about accepting responsibility. And, and what's interesting about that is that it's a difference between I'm sorry, which is number one, and saying I was wrong. Yeah, it huge makes a huge difference. difference. Yes. Between somebody just saying I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and even if they say nice, you know, I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. But when you hear someone acknowledging how they hurt you or yes. that they understand why you feel hurt, it's just that's a whole different level of conversation. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. yes, it is. I took the test. Did you all take the test? I haven't. As I have not. You haven't. Okay. Well, we didn't. <laughs> we yeah. didn't take the test. I forgot. But I will do it before the next two assignments. Yeah, please, please do. So, but tell us about your experience in taking this. Well, I'll tell you later because I put it. Okay. I put my. I put it in here. Okay. Just the results. Okay. okay. Um, because this one today is is mine. My my primary. Ah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's my primary. And you did say you have a letter. Well, this little letter is from a little guy, right? Okay. Um, he says, "Dear Brady, Miss P made me write you this note." All I want to say sorry for is not being sorry because I try to feel sorry, but I don't. Oh my God. <laughs> In other words, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. And then my mommy made me say, or my teacher made me say sorry to you, but I'm really not sorry. Mm -hmm. But that was an honest letter. It's honest. It's very honest. Yes. But again, it shows us adults, as adults, what we do. Mm -hmm. We just will say sorry. And that's it. Sorry. And expect that people are supposed to understand that you're sorry. But I mean, it, it just even the flippant way in which you say it, the tone of voice in which you say it. It's not, I'm truly sorry, I am so sorry. And making the effort so that it, the, the person feels that. But again, I need to reiterate, you weren't here last week. If my love language is not hearing I'm sorry, 
you could be talking till the cows come in. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to make a difference because that's not my um, language of apology. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So it, it's really important that you know what your partner's language of apology is and also what yours is. Yeah. Because what, what, why is it that it's not resonating with me when she says, I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. Chances are that's not your um, language of apology. I've got a question, Denny, and this, this refers to the relationship we hold with each other, uh, with, that people hold with each other. Should they take the test, or this is, uh, especially for relation, love relationships, should they take the test first and then have the discussion or discuss, then take the test? You should take the test just so you know what your language is. Mm -hmm. And have your, have your spouse do the same, mm -hmm. so that she knows what her language is. Mm -hmm. That way, when you come in and you say, I'm sorry, and you, you don't see a response, you know, OK. Sometimes it's good to just go through all five <laughs> language yeah. to yeah. hit it if you don't know what it is. Yeah. 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 Because if you say, I'm sorry, and she's like, mm hmm yeah, sure you are. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you say, you know what, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And she, it resonates for her. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes she wants you to say, you know what, I, I destroyed your work, I'm going to stay up, I'm going to stay up tonight and I'm going to, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to take care of the problem. Mm -hmm. Right? Making restitution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It depends on what the other person's language is and it's so important to know that. I, I really love what you said because that's what I was thinking when, the last time when we introduced all the themes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a, an apology should be built with these four layers, um, and, and you'd make everybody happy in that yeah. way. Yes, you would. Yeah. You would. Because you don't know, if you don't know, then, then say, I'm sorry if it's not resonating. Then say, you know, I, um, I, I was wrong. What I did was truly unacceptable, right? That might resonate. If that doesn't resonate, then it might be, I'd like to pay you for your phone that I broke, or I'd like to um, go, go into the yard and do something, or make restitution for what it was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let them know mm -hmm. right so you may have to go through through the ask for forgiveness that's the last one yeah and that's the one that people do not want to do mm -hmm. ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. ask for forgiveness that's the hardest one it really is the hardest is the next one. skill set learning to give their, uh, give forgiveness <laughs> that's another <laughs> tough lesson there that's a tough one I, I, a tough to, uh, one. to be honest I, I feel that the uh, the entire lesson is a tough one. I think that today's day and age, it's very difficult to even apologize. I think that accepting responsibility is something that I, you know, it's hard to do. But Jenny and Marlene, in a relationship again, while I say, you know what, I'm truly sorry, Jenny. I'm truly sorry. It was my fault. I did this without thinking. Mm -hmm. And your response to me would be, you know what? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. What, how should, how should I suppress myself from saying something that I shouldn't, that would, that would uh, explode the situation? How, you know, how, John, how do I do? sometimes just saying I'm sorry should be just, that's all you say. Say <laughs> nothing else. Like because, stopping at that yeah, word. Because if you go on, then you start blaming or you start putting, the, 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 putting things back on the person yeah. that you offended. So it's really, sometimes saying I'm sorry or I was wrong, mm -hmm. stop right mm -hmm. there. Say nothing else. Okay. Say nothing else. Yeah. And I think that's what's funny about your letter. It's cute because it's from a kid, but it's what people do. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, but you know, you were really out of line when mm -hmm. X, mm -hmm. Y, Z. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but you know how I am. Yeah. I'm sorry, and you were pushing but me. there's like always mm -hmm. that but. And once you say that but. Once you put that butt in there, everything that went before meant nothing. Because of the butt. Yeah. Especially if the butt comes with blame. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you're better off. How are we never taught this in all our life? We, we, you know, like, I'm trying to think. We, we, you have kids growing up around you, and you say, we always tell them, say sorry. And, you know, they do it. They're like, mm, sorry. sorry. <laughs> and then walk away. Sorry. So we do encourage children to learn that when you are uh, wrong, you apologize. Yeah, but but we, we don't do it. But then as adults, suddenly it just becomes an unknown language to us. But you see, remember, children learn what they experience, not mm -hmm. what you tell them. Oh. It's not what you tell them that they pick up. Yeah. Don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's going to ruin, it's going to ruin your lungs. So 
do as I say, not mm -hmm. as I do. Yeah. What don't, do you think that child's gonna do? Don't curse. Well, Please. especially with drugs, too. Yes. Like, you know, if you say don't do drugs mm -hmm. and then you smoke doing weed with your bad. friends. Yeah. Don't curse, bleep. Yeah. Why bleep this? Why bleep that? Don't say that. It's what the child is experiencing that he learns and, and keeps in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, what do you tell him to do or not do? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very so, um, so, so the apology today, oops, today, yeah. sincere, we're doing number two, accepting responsibility. Mm -hmm. See, for me, that's my, that's my language of apology. Yeah. I don't want to hear, I'm sorry. I want to hear, I was wrong, and I'm not going to let this happen again. I will really work at not making this happen again. And then shut up. <laughs> don't say anything else. <laughs> because the more you keep talking, the deeper you'll dig yourself. So just stop right there. That's all I want to hear. That yeah, we're just know. quiet because that just sounds hard, right? Yeah, yeah, because, you know. And I have a question along that line because, you know, when you think of conflict, um, and, and it, this is really good for personal relationships, it a lot of times it seems like it comes from miscommunication. Mm. Um, and so when I have to apologize or when I choose to apologize, I do want to say, okay, I'm accepting responsibility that maybe that didn't come out right. Mm -hmm. But it's almost, you feel compelled to Explain. still try and get the point, like, because the intention isn't there to hurt. It's, mm -hmm. I did hurt, I accept that I did hurt you. Mm -hmm. Jenny, I'm sorry, I, I recognize that what I said um, really hurt you. But what I really but. needed you, I know, <laughs> but, and that's what I'm saying, there's like, there's like a compulsion that like, you need to know that I wasn't trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I, I, this is what I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. And then you then you go you proceed to tell me, and what happens to the person on the other end? I'm they don't hear like, the apology. No. Jenny huh, and that's Jenny, interesting. Jenny and Marlene again. We're in a technological world. Uh -huh. uh, there are some people oh. who are actually yes. There are some people who are actually having long distance relationship, whether being a love relationship, whether being best friends. Like my best friend, I've got while I've got a lot of a lot of them around. <laughs> either live in PG or live in the states my best friends. Mm -hmm. Now, if m me and my wife were having a long distance relationship and I've done something wrong, how do you determine, or she's done something wrong, how do we determine that the apology via uh, communication there is sincere? I really do not recommend you write an apology. Really? Try, no. Uh -huh. Try, let you, see, most human beings, when we want to see eye contact, so we'll just Skype with you, FaceTime or something. I want to see that. I want to get eye contact. I want to see if you're if you're serious, mm -hmm. if you genuinely mean this. Okay. So detecting it must be via eye contact. Well, eye contact, or if you can't do if you can't do Skype, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear the remorse. I want to hear that you really genuinely feel sorry that you hurt me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't get that from text um, messages no, or can't. emails or That's I, I, I don't That's think you should fight over text messages right. or emails. I don't think you should apologize because no. I've learned one thing, like what you write and how I read it. I mean, that's like, so, yes. always, it's always miscommunicated. That's like, right. It's That's just, reason. you don't know if I'm being sarcastic. You don't know if I'm being direct. That's you don't right. know if I'm being, there's just. And no way to interpret. Don't, do it. Don't, yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. I, yeah, I really. Because we, we all have filters. Yeah. We all have filters. Mm -hmm. When I say filters, you know, like what you use to treat the orange juice? Yeah. Human filters. If I grew up some, and I, I grew up and I, I have a different way of talking. You're living in the States now and yeah. there's different lines. Yeah. It's a different way of expressing things. You might say something, I, I just said this morning, and you looked at me kind of que queer when I said, till the cows come in. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> when you're up in the States, you, you pick up all kinds of nuances and things that you say. Yeah. And you're talking to, this, to, to my girlfriend back in Belize, yeah. who has not been exposed to this, yeah. and I make some comment, or, and, and it, it sounds very trite. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't, you, it happens you all have the time. Filters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. have filters. So don't send a text message. So at the very least, make a voice call. Make a voice call and get straight to the point. I'm telling you, for me, 
if you do something that has really hurt me, just call and say, Jen, you know what? I was wrong. I'm, I'm a serious mistake. I was totally wrong. I'm happy. <laughs> I am absolutely happy. Okay. <laughs> We're done. That's done. Okay. But if you call and you say, I, I was wrong because. <laughs> <laughs> me don't get back. <laughs> no, you're preparing your defense. That's what you start doing. And yeah. the conflict starts but, all over yeah, all again. Over. Yeah. But Jenny and Marlene, the question of why always comes up. What do you mean? Um, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Because. It was my fault. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm accepting, uh, uh, well, after accepting Accept responsibility. responsibility, then the question would be, but why? From who? The, from the from person your you're fighting one. with. But maybe, 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 with. maybe, because uh, you said it, and I'm just like, that's really generic. Like, it's my fault. Um, but maybe just something more. Like, I, I, I hear, I see this, and I'm like, that makes so much sense. And, and mm. saying it's my fault was just not enough, I guess. What about even if you don't, even if you don't say it's your fault, but the question of why comes up, what do you do? So how do you deal with it? Must we have a discussion? Why? I normally, I don't make people ask why, really and truly, but I don't ask why. I'm happy that you just came out and said you're wrong because men don't do that. People don't do that, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's a man who can't escape. It's a man. Steph. <laughs> if we, if you not women, so what about you, Marlene? Wait. You ask for why? Why I, did I'm you do it? I'm just trying to get the You're accept responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, but yeah, you, the conversation between, and because I have people in my life who could have conversations like this, between me and my sister, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. would be Hello. completely different than with men. It's just, you don't. Men yeah, are they don't. They, 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 it's that ego thing. Well, they've been you taught know. to be driven by their ego, yeah. or I don't know if teach them it just seems like more of a default setting for them yeah. so it's like i'm sorry is sometimes all you get it, which it, is not enough it's mostly it's not enough and that's what i'm telling you like as a man if you if you say to me sorry it's my fault yeah. it's a start <laughs> I, i'll be honest with you it's a start you said sorry but it's it's just it's it's like you know so it's, it's like it. autofill on your on your text message <laughs> it's like that's what you're supposed to say but if you put a little bit more thought mm -hmm. and just say something along the lines of oh. like i'm sorry with the reason like accepting responsibility not just that it was my fault but you know um i'm sorry you felt like if, especially if you acknowledge my feelings that's the key thing Okay, so eliminate the my fault. Well, I can't tell you. You could use the two words: the I'm like, sorry like, or I am sorry. There's just a little extra step that seems to be missing there. Do you ever say you're sorry? Of course, Jenny. Do you ever say I'm wrong? Of course, Jenny. Okay. Of course. Okay. You know, I. You but know, then, what do you put after it? Well, we're learning now. Yeah. I, I can't say that I put anything behind it or I did or, or I didn't, you know. But at the same time, I think this is the start. This is, uh -huh. yeah. discussions like this is when we know that, you know what, at this particular point is when you cut off. Yeah. So we strengthen responsibility and our relationships by listening to uh, forums like this one. I mean, I'd love to get some chime in here at home. Like, people are watching and, and, and How do you feel? I, I yeah. feel like John and I are really just, we're revealing a lot here. I'm seeing Jenny's eyes. <laughs> I mean, what you <laughs> so, you know, save us here a little bit, right? So we're not the only ones who are, this is all new yes. information. How easy yes. is it for you to apologize? Yes. And do you, do you actually, I mean, is it just, I'm sorry? Do you admit you're wrong? Tell us about the male-female dynamic, yes. please. Please But do. chime in so we Help know we're out. not alone. We're feeling that's, pretty that's lonely here. Don't, don't apologize, period. Yeah. I, I know people who will tell you point blank. I don't say, I don't apologize because I'm never wrong. Yeah. I, I, know, I know people like that. Uh, Jenny, it's yeah, out there. I, I've heard that. Yeah. Do not yeah. accept responsibility. Yeah. People would say that to you, you know. Don't accept responsibility. Well, what the song, what the song say? Um, you, you, the song that um, the guy did about it was me, it was <laughs> me, it was oh. me, it was oh. me. Yeah. Deny, 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 deny. Don't, don't accept, don't accept, don't accept responsibility. Don't accept. Never do it. Never do that. There so, we go. Thank you, Charles Burns. Right, so For a lot of men, apologizing is a sign of, of weakness. weakness. But, but they have to learn that it is a start to healing. 
I've learned that if love is in the equation, it makes it easier to apologize. Charles, I, I, you know thank what, buddy? You, we, we, we love you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah, right. Thank He's you. He's feeling you. a lot less alone right now. <laughs> thank you, Charles. <laughs> so you're right. So we, we, we have been cultured yeah, we um, have. to kind of believe that. And, and that's, a, that's a key word we haven't said, that it was weakness. Yeah. That, that you're not you know, holding strong to your beliefs and your actions. And uh, we, we socialize our men mm -hmm. to show strength at all times, yeah. and especially in front of your woman. Mm -hmm. We socialize our men like this. Mm -hmm. But then this is why relationships in our country are, are in such disarray. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. we have so many people who are unhappy <laughs> and they don't know why. Is you know? this something we can start off with small? You know, because I'm, I'm thinking, a lot of times, even even in the workplace, you know, mm -hmm. something goes wrong, mm -hmm. and maybe you made the mistake. Mm -hmm. You made the, you made a misjudgment. You made a bad call. Just being able to say, "I'm sorry, that was my fault," or "I did that one," you know, like mm -hmm. it, it, I, sometimes I think even the small ones matter a lot. It's just because people can get into that blame game for even you know the coffee coffee mug broke off this table and be like, "John, why did you shake the table?" Yeah. But it slipped out of your hand, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you see, our ego, our, we, we, we have yeah. very fragile egos, you know? And so, again, it's, it's building, it's, it's, it's letting people know yeah. Yeah. that there's a different way. We can have really happy relationships mm -hmm. if we're able to give a little. Yeah. And when it comes to the ego, hold back on your ego just a tiny bit. And there's a humanness to it. Yeah. It's like we will all make mistakes. We all have, we all will, you know, no matter how much I apologize, doesn't I can make every effort yeah. to not do it again, and but it doesn't it, mean I won't. We're human. Yes. We are human. So we will make mistakes. But it's being able to say, I'm so sorry. Yes. I, I was wrong. Sometimes for the, for the other person may not be them and they need to hear I'm wrong. You know, Jenny and Marlene, yeah. one of the, you, you mentioned something there that is always one of the excuses that's out there. I am human. Mm -hmm. That's something that people expect that you should just uplift because they're human and they're not perfect. Right. And this is not a this is not a way to apologize. And I'm not perfect either. You hurt my feelings, and yeah. I would like you to do something this, about it. This is not a way to apologize. It's no, a it's weak, not. lame excuse. It's a lame excuse. Yeah. But again, let's make tiny steps in the right direction, right? Okay. Tiny so, steps. So let's start with how we accept apology. So, the first one we did last week was just saying it. Yes. Get I'm sorry. the words out uh, of your I mouth. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's say it together. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Jenny, you didn't do it. <laughs> I caught you. Yeah. This is the one time you're on the bad seat, Jenny. <laughs> but that's the first thing. Step two. Mm -hmm. Step two, accepting responsibility. Right. I was wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. Three words, I was, I was wrong. And then stop and see if they're still waiting for more. But most times if it's coming from a guy, I'm just happy that he took responsibility and said I was wrong. Like, oh, wow. I wish I were that easy. I said, what's the reason why? <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> because it shows a conscious Okay, so thought. if they give you the reasons. Yeah. You see, and, and I don't want the men to be angry with me, but... Most men, if they start giving you the reasons, they're going to put excuses in there with it. People they will it. put excuses in there with it because that's human nature. I went so far as to make this step and to tell you I was wrong and now you want more. I like clarity. <laughs> you see? I asked it earlier. But that's not why. I said it earlier. That's not why. <laughs> but wouldn't you ask the question why to get yourself to get clarity? You know, it, it, it feels like it comes from a place of being understood. Mm -hmm. You know, I can be angry, I can be hurt, but it's not just about, you know, you saying you didn't want to hurt me. And I think this accepting responsibility, the more I hear it, mm -hmm. and maybe each one I'll think it's me, but this one sounds more like me. Mm -hmm. It's more about like just saying that you understand where it comes from yes. like I'm not just some irrational crazy person who gets angry and you have to say I was wrong but that you understand Stand. why exactly so a sincere apology that accepts responsibility okay. no excuses no justification I do well because 
Ara. I did this. I, I was. I had to stay at work. I had to do that. I had Ara, whatever. Rough day. Yes. I, I screamed at you, and I know I shouldn't have yelled at you, but I really had a, a really bad day. My, com you know, my coworkers did this. But no, just say I was wrong. I was and wrong. Just I'm stop. Sorry. <laughs> If this is your apology language, you want to hear, I was wrong. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, it was my fault. See, he was there. You, you're on the right track. <laughs> as a Not huge, for someone like me, but. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I had earlier, in the, earlier in the conversation, I asked mm. you all, you know, I was going to ask you, what's the difference between I'm sorry and I was wrong? Uh, one accepts responsibility, precisely yeah. that. I'm sorry is, is is just saying that you feel bad about it almost. Mm -hmm. And I was wrong is saying, I did it. I did, I did it. Did yes. something. It's the opposite yes. if it wasn't me. Yeah. It was me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I At am least wrong. my interpretation. I know you. I, I, I'm right. I am wrong is an admission of fault. It was my fault. It can be difficult because it's challenging to admit that I made a mistake, mm -hmm. especially for guys. We, you all have been socialized differently from us, right? Especially if those mistakes have caused somebody you love pain, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to admit that you're wrong. It's hard. Mm -hmm. So when you get that from a guy, no need to say anything. Why do I embarrass you? I don't want you to feel, feel <laughs> you know, just say you're wrong. That's yeah. it. We're done. You know? Qu question, Jenny mm -hmm. and Marlene. Um, <laughs> I stopped. No, no. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, so let me let me let me ask this. So in in order for us to, like Marlene said, she want clarity. She wants clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, you're saying that you know what clarity it, it evolves into a, a different discussion, it's, and then things can spiral out of control. Part, yes, it does. So would you say that learning how to firstly learning a love language and learning how to apologize would eliminate the fact that you want clarity would eliminate the fact that uh, or, or would put in place that we know each other and we know sincerity at that particular time do you would you what do you think this see it depends upon what her love language what her um, apology, apology language, language is you know mm -hmm. if her apology language is um, asking forgiveness restitution mm -hmm. Just saying, just saying, I was, I was wrong. No, I'm being enough for her. No. It's enough for me because that's my apology language. Mm -hmm. For her, she wants to hear, make restitution. I want to hear it all. <laughs> and then I want to hear. Don't say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad <laughs> thing. What is that something else? <laughs> Energy, I don't yes, know. Yes, yes. But the discussion is good and we need to learn it. So let me throw another curveball. Let's do it. After a conflict, what normally happens, you feel hurt, your spouse feels hurt. You want an apology, she wants an apology. So, uh, what? So what do you do? <laughs> Who broke the ice Who first? Broke the ice? Why would you watch me? No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking because this is also a critical one. No, that's yeah. a good thing. Like, you know? I know friends who never talk again because both because are both waiting on an apology. I'm not even an talking apology. like spouses, friends. friends. Yeah. They one stops talking because they're hurt. And that, as the outsider, I can see where both are wrong. I both need to apologize. Yep. But they've come to an impasse. Yeah, and then sometimes yeah. one may make the apology, but they don't get the apology so it still leaves in a in a yeah. in a failed in a sour, situation yes yes, yeah. yes so what do you do what do you do if i apologize but i've also felt hurt and you don't apologize to me i would tell her i would say but you know but chances no but. Wait, 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 but wait. chances are she will not give that apology if that you know but that, jenny is it the best thing to tell her is it best to tell her thank you for your apology i, I truly appreciate it Right? Mm -hmm. Use the word. The word will come out. But. <laughs> However. <laughs> oh, you see this? <laughs> uh -huh. I know. I know. However. However, I would truly appreciate you giving me. I give you my apology. You also owe me an apology. 
You also owe me an apology. So, stepping back. If this is the case, you know, you and I are great friends, Jen, and, and you said something that you don't even know hurt me so bad, and I responded, or perhaps did something too that really hurts you. Mm -hmm. When I make that decision, and none of us are talking, you know, we, we, mm -hmm. we do that very mature, I'm being sarcastic, very immature thing of, okay, we just shut off communication, nobody mm -hmm. deals with it. This great friendship is about to be severed. Like, we are going to lose each other with time. Yep. Um, and it's bugging me, I'm bugging me, and I tell John, you know, Jenny, no apologize to me. Jenny comes and says, you know, Marlene, you know what Marlene did to me? She no apologized to me. So I make the decision. I'm gonna call. At making that decision, should I perhaps just come to a place of acceptance that I may not get that apology from you? Or is it unhealthy for me to go in and say, okay, I'm gonna do it first, and then I expect her to do it? If you go in with that and you don't get it, the friendship is still gone. Hmm. You know, we'll come to forgiveness. Okay. okay. Forgiveness is the last one. Okay. Because honestly, between two friends, mm -hmm. you both have to come to a place where you can love each other again. Yeah. And that's forgiving each other. Yeah. Because we're humans. And sometimes you have to forgive without an apology. Yeah. You have to forgive. You know, I think that goes across the board for any relationship. Yes. We have to forgive. You have to forgive. Especially if you appreciate what has been put on the table by both parties. Yeah. So yeah. I, think, I, I think that. Yep. All right, what is this? So, I'm sorry. We talked about I was wrong. I'm sorry. What is I'm sorry? You feel regretful or you feel bad about something you did, said, whatever. That's what I'm sorry is. It's different from I was wrong. Taking responsibility for what you did, the hurt you, you, you caused. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, so I took the profile. Okay, let's see Jenny's results. <laughs> and those All are right. my results. How does Mark Povich do it? We have uh, submitted your. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. 25% Oh, but I'm you're like, pretty equal all across. Yeah. <laughs> I am. You require an complicated reality. Make a restitution. <laughs> Genuine ah, repent. 20%. <laughs> Request forgiveness, 20%. You express 15% on expressing regret. <laughs> so you don't need the groveling. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't want to hear you sorry. I, want to hear you. I hear you wrong. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. So, <laughs> and how you're going to not make this happen again. Yeah. Well, okay. genuinely do so. Wow. Okay. So uh, this was really good. Accept good stuff today. responsibility. Make restitution. Genuinely repent request forgiveness and express regret yeah so we've got two off that list covered already yeah. express regret which is saying the words yes. yes i'm sorry yes sincerely yes the second is the next step accepting responsibility yeah from i was wrong or it was my fault to you know we're talking about, we're talking about we're talking about people in in our country who mm -hmm. This is new for them. Yeah. And it's just saying us. I'm sorry, just yeah. saying I'm sorry is, is I'm, I'm always shocked when people tell me, I don't say sorry because I'm never wrong. And like, what? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what I'm proud of. I'm proud of uh, the fact that in our discussions, we're helping our country and changing how we see things, changing how we love each other, and yeah. learning how to uh, accept responsibility or accept the, you know, how to say I'm sorry. Yeah. So this was good. This was good. Yeah. We're getting the sign, though. Take the test. <laughs> take the test so you know exactly test. what to yes. focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the, the website up before, but you can search for it, the five apology languages. Yes. Um, and you can do it online. It's a free test, and you can get your results and know exactly where you are. Become prepared with having done our and homework again, like the next time. Like with the love languages, it's really important to have your partner do it, your spouse, your girlfriend, yeah. so that you know how to apologize to her. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, and you know what? It can be a solution to perhaps a lot of recurrent fights if you Thank could you. just get to this part where you know how to apologize to yeah. each other. Yep. Awesome. Right.
You know, we also want to say thank you, Jenny. Thank you so very much. But there was one Charles D. Charles got in with us and he saved us. He yeah, saved us. So we thank yeah. you. we're thankful we're to really, you, Charles. Really upset, yeah. <laughs> Jenny, we love you. And we're so thankful that we can. And I think Henry win. learned something yeah, there. Henry, Henry did learned too. how to apologize. He did too. Yeah, he learned how to take <laughs> more pictures too. We, 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 we got to do this, this conversation with just a panel of men. I'll put you men. with a panel of men. To be <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> wonderful conversation. Yeah. We hope you learned something as well. Look out in two weeks where we're going to tackle the third one, which will be making, making restitution. restitution. All, right. Yes. All right. So we'll look forward to that. Actually, I think that's coming almost close to Valentine's Day, Jenny. So yeah. that's a good time for making it, restitution. Yes, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be on February 14th. It's supposed to be on February 14th. All right. But once again, thank you so very much, Jenny. Thank you. We love you so very much. We're All learning right. new things. And uh, we're about we to apologize. Break. But we do have to, no, we can't say, but we apologize. Our However, time is over. Yes, ma'am. However, <laughs> we have more open your eyes coming. <laughs> I got to work on this. Yeah. We got a conversation about basketball coming up. Uh, the Amadea League kicks off, and we'll get the details in the next part of our show. So stay tuned. Oh, uh These are the people who I want to appeal to make those little slips. It happens. You have to have a plan to manage your problems effectively. How are you going to do it? Fall off the horse? Just jump right back on.